What's up, beautiful family? I hope that you guys are having a great afternoon. So I, um, I just feel overwhelmed in the spirit. Um, I just feel overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit right now. And so I just decided to turn the, the video camera on and speak to you guys and just let the Holy Spirit flow. Um, I know that a lot of us are anxiously awaiting <laughs> the soon rapture of the church. And I know a lot of people, a lot of mockers and scoffers are out there right now um, who are speaking against it and trying to weigh down the body of Christ and just exhaust us. Um, and I know that the enemy is behind it. And not only is he um, attacking the rapture of the church, trying to make believers believe that this is not a real event, that our uh, escape is not coming, that the Lord has forgotten us. He's, he's not on the way, that his promises aren't true, but he has also just been trying to weigh down the body of Christ and just pervert the gospel and um, trying to make people feel like they're not important and that the Lord doesn't love them and that um, he's not with them, that he's not good, like the word says. But I have just found myself in just the past couple of weeks, just, um, just in awe of his goodness, just like so in awe that he's so good, that literally he took the place of us, like we were so deserving of the cross and he went there instead uh, lived a, a sinless, perfect life and went there and did it for us, you know, even though we deserved hell, death, and the grave, he did it for us, um, and, it, and it truly was finished at the cross, and I just find myself just like having these just like moments of just like like a hard cry that comes out of nowhere because it's like the physical, the physical body can't even can't even handle his goodness and it, it doesn't know what else to do <laughs> but cry um so guys i, I want to encourage you and let you know that i know that you guys are facing a lot of hardships right now i know that you are feeling the attacks of the enemy and i know that he's trying to make you believe that the lord is not there with you that he doesn't love you um, I know he's making people question their salvation. I see a lot of people right now just completely bound up in legalism. They can't see the truth of their salvation. They can't truly grasp and see the gospel. They're out there working for something that they already have that the Lord has freely given to them. And the Lord wants you to know that he loves you so very much that he did it all on the cross for you. That by you putting your trust and your faith in him alone for your salvation is what saves you. That is it, guys. If you're out there working for something, you know that you trust the Lord. You know that you believe in him. You know that you believe that he is who he says that he is. If you have done that, if you've truly done that in your heart, that is what saves you. Not any of your filthy rags that you think that you're bringing to the table so many people right now bringing thinking that they're bringing something to the table that means something that is worth something bringing their own self-righteousness to the table as if it means something well I'm sorry to tell you guys but the only way that we are righteous is by our faith his righteousness is imputed to us by faith it is the only thing. His righteousness is the only way that we are counted worthy. And so when we put our trust and faith in him, God sees his son. He no longer sees our sin. When we put our trust and faith in him, sin can no longer be held against us. And so when the Lord died on the cross and said, it is finished, it really was finished. Who the son sets free is free indeed. Are you walking in freedom today? Or are you walking in chains? There's a lot, a lot of people right now who are waiting for the rapture of the church, waiting on Jesus to come. 
but you are walking in chains. You're not walking in freedom. You're still bound up. Guys, it's time to be set free, okay? If you have put your trust and faith in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, you're truly free. There's somebody watching this right now, probably many of you guys who are dealing with things in your life. You're dealing with sin. You are a believer in Christ, but you're dealing with sin and it's making you feel unworthy and you're scared to approach Jesus. You're scared to boldly come before the throne because you've been bound up for so long and you're scared that the Lord is mad at you, that he's waiting to just knock you over the head um, and you feel like you have to get yourself right and oh no, I messed up again. I did this again and I, I told the Lord I wasn't going to do it again and I did it anyways and now he's mad at me. I don't even know if I have my salvation anymore. Has he kicked me to the, to the curb? And I just want to let you know that that is a lie from the enemy because when you put your trust and faith in him, when you heard the gospel of your salvation, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1 verse 13 says, when you hear the knowledge of truth, when you believe it, when you hear it, you believe it, you receive it, you receive the Holy Spirit of promise and he never leaves you. So there's many people right now who are sealed with the Holy Spirit because they believed, yet they're dealing with sin and they have people around them saying, if you don't let that go out of your life, if you don't get rid of it, God's going to throw you into hell. And I promise you, it's a lie. God's not mad at you. He understands. He gets it. He gets you. He knows what you're going through. And what he's saying is, come to me. Come to me. Boldly come to me before the throne. Lay it at my feet. I will take care of you. I will work it out. We are sitting here saying that we believe, that we put our full trust and faith in Jesus Christ, yet we're trying to handle life on our own. Trusting in yourself, trusting in your own works to maintain your salvation. When the Lord says, rest, come to me, lay it all at my feet and rest, child. Let me work it out for you. Let me handle that. Give it over to me. Child, you're forgiven. I understand what you're dealing with. Now bring it to my feet and let me handle it. Let me set you free. Rest in the finished work of of the cross and let me fix you is what he's saying rest in him today rest in his truth rest in know that God loves you he's for you he's not against you he's not mad at you he is your father he's he cares for you passionately okay and he wants to fix you he's coming Rest in his truths. Rest in his freedom. That he really did do it all at the cross. And that when you put your trust and faith in him, you have salvation. And nothing, nothing can snatch you from the Father's hands. Nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. And that's not my words. That's the Lord's words. Okay? So, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed in his goodness today. Like these are good, happy tears. And I want you guys to rest in the finished work of the cross. Rest in him today. And whatever you're dealing with, I don't care what it is. Whatever sin that you have in your life, whatever you feel ashamed of, okay? You're not too far gone. Don't listen to those lies of the enemy. Come boldly to the throne. Lay it all at Christ's feet and let him work in your life. You rest in him and let him work it out, okay? Rest in his, in his grace today and know that you are worthy and you are righteous through your faith, through what he did, 
not anything that you can do. Stop trying to work it out. Stop trying to make yourself perfect. It's not achievable, okay? And the Lord knew that. He knew we couldn't save ourselves, so he came and did it when we were the ones that were deserving. Jesus is coming, and I don't want you guys wrestling with yourselves and beating yourselves down. I want you guys to be encouraged and to be uplifted and to be able to rest in his grace and his love and his mercy. Don't exhaust yourself before he comes. Rest in him. Love you all. Talk to you soon.